All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some pretty strange, uh, weird Jets news that came out like 10 minutes ago. It's looking like Daryl Bevel has declined, declined the opportunity to interview with the New York Jets to become their next offensive coordinator. Um, to be honest with you, I'm a little, I don't want to say shocked, like I'm not floored, like speechless or anything like that, but it definitely comes as a surprise, like it kind of came out of left field because according to multiple people out there, he was the front runner. He was one of the favorites. Daryl Bevel to the New York Jets. He makes sense. He checks a lot of boxes. He has the connection with Salah. He's the veteran experienced mind. Um, worked with old quarterbacks, great quarterbacks, uh, not so good quarterbacks, young quarterbacks, been all over the map, been coaching for a really, really long time. That was kind of what Salah, what this Jets team was searching for. Um, but it's looking like he's going to be staying with the Miami Dolphins to remain as their quarterback coach. Uh, and by the way, Daryl Bevel also declined uh, to interview with the, you know, for the same position with the Washington Commanders. Quick little side note, Washington and the Jets, they mirror each other in a bunch of different ways. Uh, both teams have quarterback question marks. Both teams have talented rosters, not perfect rosters. They just have like, you know, they have a bunch of core players, but not every single position figured out. Both teams have defensive head coaches. Both teams play in, in really good divisions. Um, both teams just need to reload a couple pieces, get a couple things figured out, including quarterback and OC. And then all of a sudden, you know, the sky's the limit. So again, the commanders and the Jets, pretty similar spots, but um you know, when I look at Daryl Bevel declining this interview, we have heard that this Jets job isn't really that des uh, desirable, uh, especially now with the Buccaneers uh, OC position open, uh, opening up, as well as the Chargers, along with all the teams that need head coaches. So although there is a bunch of candidates out there, there's a lot of roles to fill. Um, you know, not just with the New York Jets, you know, when we're looking at wide receivers coach and O-line coach, but just across the league. Like, think about, you know, the Arizona Cardinals' entire offensive staff, Houston Texans' entire offensive staff, Indianapolis, like, the list goes on. So we could cross the name off the list here. And again, I'm a little surprised by the news. And we take a look at the guys that the Jets have already interviewed. Nick Haley, tight ends coach of the New England Patriots, who's actually uh, interviewing today right now with the Patriots to become their next offensive coordinator. We'll see what happens there. I, I, It's looking like it's going to be Bill O'Brien, but we'll see. Uh, there's been some talks about possibly Marcus Brady, 43-year-old former Colts offensive coordinator, did some really, really good things last year, but this season ended up getting fired uh, midway through. The Colts had I believe at the time of the firing, uh, the 30th ranked offense at football just wasn't really going anywhere, uh, uh, averaging under 17 points a game. But in his defense, he was at one time considered a hot, you know, young candidate on the on the rise. Um, and he wasn't calling plays. Um, so that's another guy that the Jets are going to be looking at. Brian Johnson, I believe is going to be is uh, the Jets are uh, set to interview him at some point uh but Kevin Petulo the Eagles um passing game coordinator as well as Nathaniel Hackett today so out of that list and you know I've, I've been messaging uh just tons of different Jets fans all over you know throughout today yesterday day before that uh just about all these different OC candidates and the the excitement level isn't really there with a, with a lot of these different guys because a lot of people consider it kind of a lateral move from Mike LaFleur. A lot of these guys are young. A lot of these guys haven't called plays. A lot of these guys don't really have the long resume, the track record of being that established offensive coordinator. And the fear is that the Jet, you know, if the Jets hire one of these 35 year old coaches, 40 year old coaches, that's great. The upside is there. The potential's there. That's awesome. Going to be a good coach with time. But those were the same draws with LaFleur in the first place. That that was one of the reasons why he got the job because you just bring up the potential, right? In time, he's going to be a really, really good coach. But unfortunately, it just didn't get the job done. And when we look at this Jets OC job, we have to be honest and look at the amount of responsibilities. Salah has no offensive input. He like he doesn't. So, you know, this new OC that comes in the building is going to have to be responsible for installing the offense, developing players, 
de developing and figuring out the quarterback position, game planning throughout the week, how to attack opposing defenses, and calling plays. So, and also filling out a staff, O-line coach, wide receivers coach, possibly quarterback coach. So there's, this is a big, big job here. And it's a little weary. It, it makes, you know, fans a little skeptical if you're talking about firing a guy in Mike LaFleur because he wasn't really that, uh, you know, accustomed. He wasn't experienced. He didn't have uh, that the backbone of coaching for 30 years in the NFL. Um, and now the Jets could be in the same boat where you're bringing in a similar candidate. So um, it's not to say that like a guy like Brian Johnson and Mike LaFleur are the same person and we're going to get the same result. Uh, we've seen it time and time and time again. A young coach gets an opportunity and he explodes. Look at Ben Johnson with the Detroit Lions. Multiple head, co uh, head coaching interviews. Ended up uh, deciding to stay with the Lions. But we'll see what happens, man. Like, we'll see. Um, if I had to guess right now, I, I think Hackett's an option. I, I still don't want to rule out Greg Olson. Um you know, former Jaguar, former Raider offensive coordinator. He's bounced around for a long, long time, but it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, go Jets.